After learning to be a doctor with neuropsychology and psychology and neuropsychiatry and psychiatry and brain involving neurons and health and medicine, a human has to be prepared to sit and meditate, sit and stare and sit and live and do what normal humans do when they're not attached to their device and talking about stimulation and enjoying stimulation and having a conversation about stimulation and staring at another human about stimulation. With another human who comes up to another human and says, are you okay? Frantically checking, are you okay? so confused and bewildered and with no explanation why a human would sit and do what I'm doing now for 15 minutes in silence. He was so concerned, are you okay, are you okay, are you okay? And I didn't respond and he said, are you okay, are you okay? And I said, nothing and now he's gone in silence. Thank <laughs> you. 
Most importantly of all, how long was he noticing me and watching me and listening to me and probably observing me sitting and doing what I'm doing now in silence, not paying attention to him and what he was doing and dominating on his object in outer space. I have to live and survive on in outer space, in silence. Eventually you have to consider how many people watch me and listening to me and no notice me and observe me in silence, doing nothing to another human other than inhabiting their land on their object in outer space. They dominate. Not allowing silence. And another human to do what I'm doing now, they consider a problem with their dominance in silence. And when all said and done, I'm the victim who speaks aloud when someone does what most people don't do to other people unless they're describable and energetic as I am in silence, having to make a video for dinosaur brain and heart to describe humans who ask, are you okay, but do not provide what's needed to be okay. Other than their free services and money and food stamps, they provide humans such as me, who they take care of in silence and keep track of sitting and living in silence, avoiding their dominance and dominant intelligence in outer space. He could have been watching me for a half hour, noticing me for an hour, staring and listening to me for an hour and a half in silence. trying to solve his problem, deciding if I was okay. Sitting here in silence.
Probably on his way home to enjoy his warm house and apartment and object in outer space, he did. And all I have now are his memories he gave me and provided me in silence, trying to avoid his dominance. Why do you want to be a doctor? With what I've described on this video in silence, I had to endure and withstand doing nothing else other than what a doctor does you want to be in outer space. Why do you want to be a doctor? and treat the man who just treated me as his patient, who he noticed and observed in a grocery store, sitting in silence, watching my face and my body doing what I'm doing now, causing him distress to cause him to say to me, are you okay? All of the voices and the sounds afterwards are so emotional and so creepy and so disturbing you have to remember. As a human in outer space, they're as dumb as he is in outer space. Doctors and surgeons who probably do what he did. With no care other than a smart intelligence and dominant decision described as language and mathematics and time about to end in silence. <laughs> 